Yo, what is up guys? Today we are finally going to be doing something else to the Integra uh, other than just some basic maintenance. We're going to be lowering her um, after getting a fresh set of RE003s on it and I am so excited. It's been a very, very long time since I've had a decent set of street performance tyres because when I got the new wheels, well new to me wheels, they came with these brand new eco tyres and they're like cockroaches, they won't wear down fast enough this increased life comes at a sacrifice of performance and safety so I finally decided to get rid of them and get some RE003s on there. These boys are thick as you can see and they fill out the wheel wells really really nicely but they also mean that the height of the car's increased and I do love this uh, really aggressive meaty setup but I am interested to see what the new size would look like. I, so damn, you know what? I am loving the lower uh, profile tires. Now what we've got to do is figure out how low I want to go. These are my measurements at the moment. We've got 10.5 on the right rear, right left is 10 centimeters, and the fronts are both nine. I don't know, I'm thinking I will bring the fronts down to maybe an 8.5 or an eight, and I'll bring the rear down to nine. Um, it's just flat nine, maybe eight. Holy crap, I cannot get these off. You know, I just went to the store and got these tires on and it looks like they've used an impact and just tightened it with a few ugger duggers <laughs> and it is not torque to spec because I cannot get it off with the breaker bar. But, but boys, look what I bought. Wow, how convenient. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. I guess that might need some more force. Wow. Those were talked on way too tight. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I had to up the pressure at the regulator. Man, I'm really lucky I have this. Otherwise, my wheels wouldn't be coming off today. How's that fresh rubber? God damn, RE003s. All right, let's clean up all this muck with a bit of degreaser. Wow, that is dirt. What's that, three years of grime? I'm gonna smack it with some penetrating fluid. All right, so first we gotta knock out this locking collar. There we go. Um, just kidding, I'd loosened it beforehand and I'd used the towel on the actual flathead so that I didn't damage the collar, but that means we can now move this up and down. Next up, we're gonna remove the bolt connecting the shock assembly to the hub. And that's just a 14, I believe, which is this puppy over here. God, so easy with this impact. Oh my God. Why aren't I wearing my gloves, God damn it. 
your boy is impatient and he wants to see some change so we're going to drop it an entire centimeter i need the bottom of this collar to be a centimeter above this uh, base screw here okay that's almost bang on a centimeter now you just have to rotate this up like that lock that up nice and tight all right the fronts are done so let's lay her down and see what she looks like And this is what she looks like. So, there's a noticeable difference, but it is not by any means slammed. And that's perfect because I wanted to, wanted to lower it a bit without actually destroying the functionality. You know, I've still got a steep driveway. I still want to install a lip and my guards aren't worked at all. Uh, and I still want to be able to go for a spirited drive without scrubbing and rubbing at every corner, which is exactly what happened with the uh, other ties I had on this. Alrighty, I actually had to lower this side uh, half a centimeter more because I was uneven and this side sat at around 8.5, that side sat at around 8. Oh my god, she is on the ground. So it's the next day and I have unfortunately come to the decision of raising my car up again because it's just not viable, you know? I got these new low profile tires to avoid all the scrubbing and scraping and keeping it this low is gonna introduce the same problems and like I don't have access to a guard roller. Even if I did, I don't know if it would solve the issue or not, but like it's, it, it's not even really that low. We'll get the rears down, see what it looks like, but we'll bring the front up about a centimeter, oh, half a centimeter. All right, so these lug nuts are also torqued on way too tight and I've increased the regulator pressure to 90 PSI. So hopefully this will get it off. There we go. Oh yeah, and you're probably seeing all the the paint fly up. I don't care. These paint, these wheels have got to be repainted. Um, this paint's coming off anyway. Like the previous owner didn't even bother taking off the wheel weights before painting the wheels. Like it was clear he just wanted a quick sale. And yeah, so I went two years without painting it. That's fine. But I also need some extended lug nuts because. These can't fit over them without damaging the paint. It's the same process as the front of the car. Just gotta undo that green locking collar at the bottom and undo the bolt holding the shock to the lower control arm, wind it up and put it back together. So this is a 14 and that holds the shock to the control arm. We need to basically get this up and out of the way, but to do that we'll need to drop this entire control arm down. Okay, so this control arm is out. It's kind of, it's being held in by the sway bar. Uh, so it's not gonna drop any further than that. So I kind of have to put 
pull down on this control arm as much as I can um, and that then allows me to twist this coil over and allow it to meet up with the locking collar there. Uh, the base of the shock now meets that locking collar so we have to go ahead and screw everything back together. So, this is what she looks like as of now. Unfortunately, the front just has to come up because it does not do too well in the corners, which is where this car is supposed to shine. And there you have it. That is a set of brand new RE003s with a lower profile alongside a slight drop using the adjustable coilovers we had on the car. Now, don't get me wrong, I loved that thick, meaty Kanjo Racer look, but uh, this is something new, it's different, and it's certainly more functional because I can finally corner without scrubbing, scraping, and losing traction, most importantly. Now, I did want to go lower, as you guys know, but it just wasn't, wasn't viable, and functionality was the aim of this particular venture, so that's what we've achieved here. I think this setup will look really good, once we repaint the wheels in a slightly less subtle color, something that contrasts against the body a bit more. But for now, I think it looks fantastic. It's uh, lower, it's more streamlined, the lower profile makes the car look crisp. I was going to attach a reaction video to me driving the car and experiencing this dramatic change in handling, but the video is going to be too long so I've actually split it into two and that one will come next. Yeah, it feels like a brand new car uh, and there's been a subtle change to the appearance which I love. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.